Communications are vital to the success of any Army mission. The networks and systems those communications flow over are often invisible to the average user. It just works. In a tactical environment, communications become more difficult. Traditional networks may not be available. In an environment like this, the job of getting the message there and back falls on units like the 51st Expeditionary Signal Battalion from Joint Base lewis McCord, who tested their capabilities by deploying to Arizona last week. The purpose of uh, Operation Desert Hawk is to validate our TROPO systems. So this exercise is important because we're exercising our ability to deploy expeditiously. So we got a no-notice EDRI, which is a deployment readiness exercise. So we uh, went to the airfield, went through SRP, um, and loaded all our vehicles and personnel into three aircraft. And we came here, downloaded real quick. I think it took 17 minutes to download off the C-17 stage and uh, convoyed out to Davis Mountain Air Force Base and we did all that in one day. Uh, what the TROPO uh, team is or what they do is they actually shoot a what we call a beyond line of sight. So what that means is that even though the horizon and the curvature of the earth, which would normally not allow two line of sight terminals to be able to talk to each other, this terminal, what it does is it actually shoots a signal off the troposphere, uh, which is one of the, the layers of the atmosphere, one of the lower layers of the atmosphere. Uh, it basically shoots that signal off that, that troposphere and it scatters back down and somehow is able to hit that, that terminal that's on the other end of the lane. Uh, basically what we're doing is we move the antenna, we have a team on the other side, they're transmitting, we're transmitting. So we have to sweep the, uh, the troposphere for them so we can make a link and uh, complete the mission. Right now I'm checking the uh, RSLs, seeing that they're uh, fluctuating. And uh, letting my uh, teammate know, my partner over there know if they're getting better or worse as he's sweeping with the tropo. So that piece of equipment behind me is called an STT or a satellite transport terminal. That's what actually acquires the signal from the satellite um, to provide the services to the shelter and then out to the antenna. What we're doing is we're doing the equation to get the frequency so that we know how to maneuver the satellite and configure it to the right degrees. Once we do that, we can lock onto the satellite and then we'll have connection. Right now we are in a, a turnover because uh, the unit just got back from the deployment about a year ago. So our senior personnel are moving out and we have a new batch of soldiers coming in. Uh, so we're passing on that knowledge base that the senior guys have that they were able to utilize uh, while they were deployed and pass that on to our new guys so that uh, we can get them trained up and maintain our prepared and deployed status. Desert Hawk has been great because we're able to exercise our TROPO assets. TROPO is very unique. I believe we're the only unit with TROPO assets on JBLM. So we really need to be able to be fully trained and ready to deploy with these TROPO assets just anywhere in the world, ready to support any unit. It's just a great way to give these guys some confidence and some experience to, to make them that much, uh, you know, that much better at their job when they go out there and do it for real. Reporting from Davis-Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona, I'm Sergeant First Class Kevin Bell.